Hi guys and welcome back to Chip Screen World. In this week's vlog we're going to be spring cleaning the pond, clearing the borders around the pond area and a few other jobs. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's get on with this week's vlog. Hi and welcome back to Chip Screen World. I'm Chip, this is the courtyard, that's good. The flower, that's Gypsy Boy. The work, the jobs. Join us on our adventures. Let's get to work. Hi guys and welcome back. It's Pond Week. And the first job we're going to be tackling is clearing, pruning back the borders around the pond area. And then we'll be talking a bit about what we're going to be planting here this spring. Then we'll come on to tackling the big job which will be the pond. So we start with the verbena that I'm cutting back to its last bud. Then we're going to sort out the geraniums. They've got a white geranium here, also a pink one. But I'm thinking about moving the white geranium to the other side. Give them a bit more space to flourish. Clean up some of the pots around the pond area. This is the daylily. These are where the wildflower seeds were all scattered. In the pots and all around the borders around the bottom of the pot. They've been looking beautiful for the last two years, but I think I'm going to have a little bit of a change this year, but uh, we'll come to that. So at the moment I'm just taking all the dead foliage away. So I'm going to wait and see what flowers come up so I can transplant them somewhere else. There's lots of little seedlings here coming up, so I'm going to save them, pot them up. So now on to pruning back some of the perennials. This is where all the white and yellow lupins were. The same at the opposite side of the pond, but they've all gone unfortunately, I've lost them. But on a good note, somewhere for me to transplant my white geranium. And what's going on elsewhere in the garden? Here's where Spud is. And Gypsy Boy's just starting to mow the lawn. This is another little shrub that the birds have planted for me, so I'm just going to leave it here. I might uh, transplant it somewhere else later on. And this one that I'm pulling all the dead away from now is one of my favourites. Absolutely gorgeous little flowers, named globe flower. And Gypsy Boy's just finished the lawn. He's done a great job, it's looking beautiful. And did you spot who was on the bench? No? this little girl right now on to the job we've been putting off the disaster that is the pond so let me tell you what's happened here when I bought the pond plants one of the plants had another little plant growing in it that wasn't meant to be there so I thought I'd just leave it see how it develops and this is the little bugger and over winter it's carried on growing it's rooted under all the pebbles and took over the whole pond. Nowhere for birds to bathe here. So this is going to be a big job today. I'll show you now how it's rooted under all the pebbles and as I'm pulling it out it's disturbing all the sediment that's lying on the bottom. So this is going to be a messy job and it's going to take some time. So we're going to speed things up. You know me. So what have we learnt from this? Check your little pond plants. Make sure there's no intruders. <laughs> I seen things then I was Chippy doing a bit of twerking over the pond. <laughs> right so next job is perches for dragonflies. I got this idea from Joel at Wild Your Garden. Great little idea. So yeah we've got some unwanted branches that we pruned back last week and we're going to use them. And also 
there's some news coming about the pond. Exciting stuff. So these are two branches from the Californian lilac that I pruned back last week. So let's reuse them and turn them into dragonfly perches. Just going to clean them up a bit. You don't need to do this. It's not essential. But I prefer to do it. And they'll look so much nicer. Alright, I think we're almost there. We could be here for another hour knowing Chippy's perfectionism. Come on Chippy, they look about right to me. Get them stuck in. <laughs> and they're ready. Right, let's get these put in. So I'm going to put these either side of the pond opposite each other so that I have a good view when I sit on my sun bench. Just going to knock them in with a hammer. That should be secure enough for them. And if you want to know any more information on Dragonfly Perch, check out Joel's Dragonfly vlog. I'll put a link in the description. Well that's gone in quite well. One down, one to go. Just compact the soil around them for extra strength. Now round to the other side. We interrupt your regular scheduled program to bring you this breaking news. A dark, mysterious shadow has been spotted in the pebble pool in Chip's world. Our team on the ground are hearing talks. This could be the first sighting of the rare, aloof mini croc. And now we can see live footage. The locals are overjoyed at the new arrival that they've nicknamed him Newt. Oh, isn't he cute? And now we're going to go live to get reaction from one of the locals. I think his name is Gypsy Boy. Uh, here he is. That is marvellous. That is marvellous. So there you go. Marvellous. <laughs> right, so there you go. My pond's clean. The borders are cleared. The dragonfly perches are up. Oops, I forgot to cut the grasses back. Hold on, can't have the final shot with autumnal grasses in the back, can we? And there we go, all done. Looking beautiful. You wouldn't believe it was the same pond. Fabulous. So there you go, hope you've enjoyed. Hope you'll join us next week. Subscribe, like, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye now. <laughs>